Smartest thing I ever did was marry an entertainment lawyer. This is from at Karen Roselle Morgan. Does John practice law in upstate New York? What kind of law does he do and where does his band play? Um, I am- Well, he can answer all of this, but I'm telling you, smartest thing I ever did was marry an entertainment lawyer. Saved me a bundle. Yes, I have- Entertainment and licensing is what John does. Go yeah, I, I, uh, I used to practice in New York City as an entertainment lawyer, uh, in, primarily in film. Then I met this one. And now I only have one client, and her name is Rachel Ray. Um, so I just work on our businesses uh, all the time. And my band, right now my band is playing nowhere except my studio because <laughs> there's COVID. And on our show. Yeah, on, on, yeah. We, we're on her show. We did, we'll, we're working on something Oh, it's right our now. show now, honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely our show. So uh, my band and I do record uh, songs remotely and do, do videos that you see on the show sometimes that we post online remotely. And uh, I'm hoping, we used to tour quite a bit and play live all over the country, all over North America, uh, in the UK. And uh, I wanna get back out there, but uh, whenever that happens, we'll be there. It's from Linda Penley Pardue. The question is, does John ever sing to you? Do you sing to me? No, not really. He writes songs that, John is a musician. He wanted to go to Berklee School of Music and was accepted and he's a terrific musician. He plays 57 different instruments. But he went to law school because his parents told him cautiously that it's better to have like a trade. John uh, is in a song group every week with our friend Bob Schneider who recently played on our show and has played there many times. And he really is a master of uh, keyboards every stringed instrument. He's especially great with percussion. Uh, all keyboards are percussion instruments. So I'll just say he's a master at all of those things. I have said since the day I met John, the one thing I was really scared about was the fact that John told me the night we met that he had a band. And I profess to this day, the one thing a woman cannot fake is liking bad music. Like you cannot fake bad music. So yes, I fell in love with him when I met him. Cross a crowded sea of knees, as John puts it, because everyone at the party was very tall and we were very short. But to put it more succinctly, I didn't legitimately seal that deal until I heard his music. I'll just leave it at that.